Now agility ladder skills are a great way for your students to practice their footwork, control and rhythm and it's a great chance for them to practice movements that are used across a multitude of different sports. So the patterns we're going to do today are very simple and you can either use an agility ladder like I have or you can use some line markers or even cones to set up for your students. And you can have your class either going individually one at a time or you can have them going in pairs where they have to copy each other and mimic what their partner is doing. There's loads of different ways that you can run these simple drills either in circuits or in stations or as warm-up games, end games, however you want to run it. Now you might find your students want to rush through the patterns on the ladder. So make sure when you first do it with them that they do it controlled, they focus on the movements that they're working on before speeding it up. Hopping in and out. So either just on your right foot or just on your left, you have to hop in and out of each of the squares going left and right as you're moving forward. Remember to stay on your toes. Two footer jumps. So making sure that your knees and your feet are together, you're going to bounce on your toes going sideways in each square. Left foot, right foot in each square. So for this one, you're going to step with your left foot, then your right foot in the same square, then move over to the next one going sideways. Make sure you pump your arms and keep your knees high nice and quickly. Two footer jumps. Remember keeping your knees and feet together. We're going to jump into the square, then back out, then into the next one and back out. Remember staying on your toes, forwards and backwards. This is a four step pattern. You're gonna step into the square, one, two, and then you're gonna step out of the square, three, four. wide and narrow. This time you've got to jump nice and wide with both feet and then at the next square nice and close together. Frog jumps. For this one, you're gonna start in the square, you're gonna to touch the ground with your hands, and you're gonna try and jump and leap over two squares. If two squares is too much, you can just do one square.
hip twists. For this one, you're gonna start with one foot in the square and one foot out. You're then gonna switch feet so your other foot is in the square and your other foot is out and then moving on to the next square. Make sure you twist your hips as you jump. Tiptoe balancing. For this one, you're gonna be in your tiptoes walking all the way across zigzag on the ladder. Don't touch the ground. You can go forward and when you get to halfway, you can turn around and go backwards the rest of the way. Now, if you and your class enjoyed these simple activities, make sure you check out my website where I provide you with loads of free ideas across a multitude of sports. Great for any grade, K to six teacher wanting to really help their students develop into pro sports stars.